And right now, we have two teams remaining in the state playoffs, two softball teams, as a matter of fact, the Patrick Henry Patriots and the Atlee Raiders, and they faced off in a state semifinal. Yes, they did. Atlee defeated PH 5-3, so they advanced to the state championship game. Yes, the Atlee Raiders defeating PH in a semifinal, meaning they would play the Hawks of Hickory High School in the 5A state softball championship game. Are you ready for this, Ryan Oh, Ballance? yes, been ready. We're ready. We're going to see if the Atlee Raiders can make some history here. The last time they won a state championship in softball, 2002. That's correct. It's been 13 years and a big storyline in this game. Head coach John Early, as well as his assistant coach, Becky Levy, both stepping down and retiring after this game. Could they go home with a state championship trophy? Let's go out there and find out. Let's see what happened. Plenty of Atlee fans on hand at Robinson Secondary School in Fairfax, Virginia, the site of the 5A state championship game between your Atlee Raiders and the Hickory Hawks, and both starting pitchers on their game early in this one. Hickory's Candace Krasinski with a strikeout, and Peyton St. George on the mound for the Atlee Raiders. She gets a strikeout, and then St. George with another big strikeout right there to end the fourth inning. Now we're going to take you to the bottom of the fifth inning. Hickory would threaten as they put a runner on on second base, but St. George gets out of trouble as she gets the fly ball to right field. Riley Satterwhite is there to make the catch, and we have a nothing-nothing game at the end of five innings. Now we're going to go to the top of the sixth inning. Laura Kate Moss steps to the plate for the Atlee Raiders with the bases loaded, and Laura Kate Moss is going to send a high fly ball to left center field. It drops in, and that would bring one run in, two runs score. A third run comes home. She slides, and she's safe at the plate. It is a bases-clearing double for Laura Kate Moss in the sixth inning. Atlee goes ahead three to nothing. That is a clutch two out hit for Laura Kate Moss. Then we go to the seventh inning. Peyton St. George looking for the final out. She gets the strikeout to end it. And the Atlee Raiders are your 2015 5A state champions. It's the first time the Raiders softball team has won a state title since 2002. Just an incredible accomplishment for the Atlee Raiders. And we caught up with a bunch of the teammates as they celebrated their state championship victory. We came into this season and we wanted it so bad. We worked so hard for the last five months and we have waited for this moment all season. And this is so amazing. And we can all come out here next year too and hopefully do something next year. I didn't doubt this team one bit, and I know in the beginning of the season not a lot of people thought we could do it, but all the hard work this season we put in, I think it's really shown, and I had no doubt we could do it, and I knew we could do it. Honestly, it's what I've worked up to these past four years. Coach Early, Mrs. Levy, and I, it was just a dream that we've always had, and we finally made it happen tonight, and it's just an amazing feeling. I couldn't be any happier and more proud of my team. It takes a while to get team chemistry, and we knew, we told them, it's going to take you know, a couple months of playing with each other so until you, you figure out who you are as a team. So that's all we did. We just put them in, worked with them, and, you know, they took off their success, and they, they were peaking at the right time. They didn't want to lose, and I think that's, that's what every coach wants. For people that haven't been here and haven't had this experience, it is, you can't imagine how proud, how happy, how excited, uh, just just for the team, for the players. Uh, it's just, it's unbelievable. I mean, the, the emotions are just running the gamut and you want to cry, but you're so happy. And, and it, it, the, the, the kids deserve everything. I mean, they just did everything. They made it possible. They worked hard and they got themselves here and, and they did it. I mean, they did it. I mean, I, you know, I'm probably happier than, than than retiring. I mean, this is, you know, this is more exciting than not coming back to work in September. That's, the, that's how happy I am. I think it took us five or six games to really get a feeling of, you know, how good we could be. You know, we had some minor setbacks along the road, but um, they kept working and they kept pushing and every game we played, we're like, you know, you guys are pretty good. You could go pretty far. And then as we kept progressing, we go, you know, you're, you're, you're real good. I mean, you could go as far as you want. And, and that's when we put the ownership on them. When we say as far as you want, then they knew that if they, if they worked hard enough that they could go far, and, and man, it, it, the work paid off.
and the Adley Raiders make history and bring home their first state championship since 2002. That is correct. The first time in 13 years that the Adley softball team has brought home a state trophy. Just an unbelievable accomplishment and really a, a fairy tale ending to the careers of their head coach, John Early, their assistant coach, Becky Levy, both stepping down at the end of this season. So a great way to kind of go out in style right there with a state championship That's and right. also the lone senior on that Atley team, Anna Marie Worley, great way to wrap up her career as an Atley Raider. And Ryan Balance, the rest of that team coming back next year. So that's, yeah, that's going to be a show. Big things to look forward to as far as Atley softball is concerned next year. But hey, congratulations to the 2015 Atley softball team, your 5A state champions. A great way to wrap up the year.